Hi everyone and welcome to this quick introduction to my new script, Storyboarding. Storyboarding is a script that allows you to import an Adobe Story script inside Adobe After Effects. So I'm going to run the script. I go to File, Script, Run, Script File. I'm going to select GSX bin and here we go. You should have a licensing uh, panel here, but as it's already licensed, you can't see here right now. Okay, so the interface is quite straightforward. You've got an import story script button, which we'll use to import our screenplay, and a master composition, which will use uh, a composition to get all the gritty details of your project, like the resolution, the frame rate, and stuff like that. So, I'm going to show you just a bit before Adobe Story. Adobe Story is an online editing tool uh, for screenplay, obviously. Uh, you can download uh, an Adobe Hair application. It's free with your Creative Cloud account, and I guess you can get it for like $9.99 per month uh, if you want to subscribe to Story. So I've got my project, The Lost Party, and I've got my script, which is already written. As you can see here, Oh, oh, sorry about that. So I've got my, my screenplay and I could already export it uh, like this. But in order to get the most out of the script, we are going to need two more information which by default are hidden in story. So I'm going to go to view, then numbering, and then scene. So now you can see we've got scene numbers. Then I'm going to go to View, Scene Duration. I am going to select one of the two. Uh, which one you like best, uh, it will work the same way. So cumul cumul Cumulative sorry, Running Time. And you can see now that I've got some timing here. If I don't check this um, duration option, by default all the scenes will be 10 seconds long when you import a screenplay without duration information inside After Effects. So, now I'm going to go to File, Export as Adobe Story Interchange Format, ISTX. I'm going to replace the one I've already exported. OK. And then I go back to After Effects. So what happens now if I try to import my script right now? So I select it, press OK, and my, sc my script will alert you that no master composition is selected. And it failed, of course. So I'm going to create a new comp. I'm going to call it master. You can call it whatever you want. Well, with a capital M. I'm going to have the preset HDTV, so it's uh, full HD, 24 frames per second. Um, I don't mind the duration. You'll see it will adjust automatically. OK. Now I've got my master composition, and you notice that I cannot uh, select it in this drop-down menu because it doesn't automatically update when you had composition inside After Effects. So you need to click the Reload button and now it's here. So, I'm just going to save the project, storyboarding.ahp, OK. And now I'm going to import the script. OK, you can see it's pretty fast. Then I click OK. And let's have a look at what it's done. First of all, it created a new composition called Master The Lost Party. You can see that the duration is 12 minutes and 43 seconds. If I double click on it to open it, you'll see that I've got my whole movie here just imported. You'll no the first thing you'll notice is that it follows a color scheme. Yellow, purple, and blue. Well, this color is based on the time of the day that you precise here. So day in the screenplay is yellow, then if I go around there it should be evening, evening is purple, and then night 
is blue. So at first you will see that the first in the day and then it goes to night. It really helps to to know the timing of the movie. So that was the first thing. The second thing you will notice is that all of the layers here have um, a marker with a number in it. And if we have a look there, you'll notice that three is a number of characters having dialogue in this sequence. So, here you have an overview of where you have most characters speaking in scenes. And you can see how many for each scene. If I go back there, you'll notice that the female voice, Emily, and Taxi Driver has, have all different colors here. I'm using the same uh, idea as in Story, where you have a color per character. And I'm, it's not the same color as in Story, but I'm using the same system. If I go to the character folder it created, you'll see that I've got six characters each one with a different color. So you can have a clear look of where is where is each character in each scene. It's just an helper. Uh, you can of course change the color if you don't like it, but I find it more efficient to have color-coded things as for here the time of the day. It really helps uh, to have an overview before even reading stuff. As you can see, um, let's have um, a look at this composition. So, I've got my three characters and the location. All these precoms are empty and they are all having the same uh, details as the master composition. They are all in 3D and I've added a camera, so it's quite easy to start animating to create your animated storyboard. But for now they are empty, so we'll see that later. That's the basics of the script. Let me kill... oops, okay. I've done the same with location. It's not color coded, but the, because it would be too much color everywhere. But you've got one composition per location. If you have an int or x version of the same location, you will have two compositions, one int Emily's flat, for example, and one x Emily's flat. I've done some pretty poor um, drawings. I'm going to create a new folder, drawings. And I'm going to import my two drawings I've made. I'm totally proud of them, even though it's a shitty drawing because I don't know how to draw and I had to draw for this demonstration. So let's see how it goes. I've got my living Emily living room, PNG. So it's uh, where the action takes place. And this is a Paris view. Uh, you can notice it's Paris because of the Eiffel Tower. A bit less uh, thanks to that. Now I go to the location and I drag and drop my Paris PNG file in my ex Paris um, composition and I do the same with Emily's flat living room. And now if I go to my master composition I can see that now all the scenes that takes place in Emily's flat living room in Paris uh, I've been uh, updated with the flat and same goes for Paris so currently there is only one in Paris having uh, currently there is only one in Paris but you get the idea now you can replace everything in there and it will automatically fill all the correct scenes with the correct data so it can help you build a better story and have a very, very quick feedback in your creative process. Now, I've got a few more details to show you. First of all, you'll notice that all my compositions have margin in and margin out. Well, the other way, margin in, margin out. Uh, for now, you cannot change the default duration. I might add the option uh, in future version. So if you need to change 
this default uh, duration uh, well ask me and I will probably do it and another thing I'm going to take this scene uh, you can see here it's a clear cut between the two scenes because I'm respecting here the transitions that uh, are in the script and if I go to the output here you can see that there is a slight overlap in fact it's a one second overlap and it's and if I hit U to reveal the keyframe I can see that my opacity here is animated because this scene is having a fade in transition so all the fades transition are also respected here by the script a last uh, a last small option and I'm going to delete about everything here is with a master imagine you have to create a, a version for um, a subsidiary or, or for anyone and you need some uh, you, you need to have your logo your company logo or stuff like that so um, let's have a quick look I'm going to create such a thing oops uh, it's 150 position times two I'm going to to create a little um, a little branding up scale let's imagine that's the logo of the company oh, in fact it's just my head and I'm going to create a new text also there for example and it's going to be the time code of the movie I'm going to use Tilfish regular um, 70 yeah it's a bit small but it's just for the example and here I can go to the source text and add an expression um, alt click which, which is um, time to current format so now I've got my little time code and you'll see that if now I import my script with this slightly modified master okay my layers here have all been extended to the complete duration so you can have some branding and it will automatically fill and you can run also some expression because it will automatically update so now without any effort I've got a time code with all the the scenes below so that's the scratch of what you can do I hope you'll enjoy using this script uh, you can get it on uh, aescript.com or its plugins.io so if you have any question or need any specific features to be added to this script feel free to send me an email at uh, yenafi y-e-n-a-p-h-e at uh, gmail.com or on my twitter um, at Yenafi, same. I hope you'll enjoy it. See you next time. Bye.